Hello guys and welcome back for another video with Paul Family. I'm Daniel. I'm Natalia. And we are back with a video from uh, Janet, my trip to Moscow, Trans-Siberian Vlog 1. Uh, this video was sent by Vladimir Zolotov. Wasn't a video. Uh, he sent no. us a few links. Uh, with about Russia. About no. Russia. Yeah. And uh, he said to check them out. So, how I said to him as well, as long as people are sending us links, links to check yeah. them out, we can check them out. Uh, so, if you have any other uh, videos that you would like us to check, we're gonna check this one for uh, Vladimir and uh, see what's about. It's very windy outside. Yeah, is that what, so, that what, is that what I wanted to say? <laughs> uh, the blonde journalist uh, basically is talking about Janet. Janet. That she was uh, traveling to Moscow, like to Russia, yeah. He asked us to check it out, so we're gonna check it out today. And uh, Danny Emanuel, how many hats does uh, Daniel have? I've got few, <laughs> five, ten, I don't know. I'm not. He's uh, a fan of. <laughs> I don't have any kind of collection, it's just that I've got few. Yeah. Anymore? <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's just check out this uh, video. Don't forget if you're new and enjoying watching these videos with us, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos. Ready, steady, Ready. subscribe, it, like. Uh, let's go. Have you seen that interior? It's like in, a, in the metro. Yeah, it's like in a museum. Huh? Massive ling living room, like a oh, castle. Yeah. Mm. Famous Russia. This is it guys, this is the day I fly to Moscow to start my epic Trans-Siberian journey. Uh, three week tour across Russia, I'm nervous, I'm excited, oh. I've made it to Dublin airport, it's pretty quiet. Um, I've just checked in for my two flights, so I'm flying with Air Moldova for the very first time. Uh, right now it's 10pm. Okay. So it's gonna be like a Moldova airline. Airline, <laughs> yeah. I fly at midnight and I'm not going to get to Moscow till 9 o'clock tomorrow morning um, and then I will make my way into Moscow city centre, get to my hotel, check in and I'll have about two and a half full days to explore Moscow. Wait. What? You had blue air there. About two and a half full days to explore Moscow. I don't know which one is So uh, you have Air Moldova, Blue Air, Lufthansa, Ryanair, I didn't know they KLM. have Moldova like they have their own... It's from Chisinau, you have Baku from Romania, Munich, Budapest, Hungary. Yeah, Blue Air, I know Blue Air, Ryanair as well, Lufthansa, yeah. So we used only Blue Air and uh, Ryanair, second class mm, yeah. flights. <laughs> <laughs> Air Moldova, you see? Yeah, I didn't know that they have. Airline. I like the the subway, it's giving it's you a Harry Potter. Uh, Moscow, I'm crazy excited. Like very posh. Huh? My very first stop had to be the very famous Red Square, right in the center of Moscow. It's home to the Kremlin, uh, Saint Basil's it's Cathedral, beautiful. and some of the most famous buildings here in the center of Moscow. So I'm about to meet my friend Yulia, who is actually from Yekaterinburg another city in Russia but is living in Moscow at the moment so I'm just waiting now to meet her and then I guess we're just gonna look around and check out some of the sites mm, so she has friends in in Russia it's 
Like so this is like um, Trafford Center for me. Yeah, here. looks like Trafford Center, like here in England. I'm gonna show you some pictures. Yeah. We don't. What are we gonna do? Okay, so it is Video. July in Moscow, but it just started raining. It's not too heavy. Um, just trying to protect a little bit. So this was in Check July. Out how pretty this street is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Huh? Imagine how it will be for Christmas if in July is like that. It's so beautiful. Whoa. Mm. Really nice. So we've come here to this very international sort of food course. Uh, loads of different types of restaurants like um, Chinese food, <laughs> Japanese food, Taiwanese food, Italian food, Russian food. So no, let's go for some duck bao and also some traditional Russian beer. This is my first beer of the trip. What's the name of this beer? Zhiguli. 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 So it's a popular uh, Russian beer. So let's have a taste. I never had any... I had couple of shots of vodka <laughs> yeah but uh, In, Russian uh, beer no no very popular very, never very, tried very, it very popular traditional but not popular so. tastes like beer so my very first tip for visiting Moscow would be even if you come to the Red Square during the daytime and see all the main sites, I highly recommend staying around at nighttime as well. Um, all the it's buildings beautiful. are lit up as you can see the big shopping center here behind me and then obviously St. Basil's Cathedral is also lit up. Yeah, you if, uh, if this right is during the there, summer. You can get some really nice nighttime photographs. Um, it's been raining today but it didn't even matter as I was actually... Imagine how okay, it's in winter. Wet, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They have like I was minus. Getting, uh, really cool kind of puddle all those, uh, yeah. So I was walking around for about 20 minutes cold, looking for a big puddle and I eventually snow, found like this kind of Christmas manhole cover and had water all over it so I was able to like get down real low and take some really cool pictures of St. Basil's Cathedral reflected in the puddles. It is my second day here in Moscow and I'm just about to go on a Moscow Metro tour. So the Moscow Metro is one of the most famous metros in the world and also one of the most beautiful. We so never we're going to go around to some of the prettiest, most beautiful historical metro stations, find out the stories behind them, the stories, the legends. Roughly half the population of Moscow uses the metro every day. It still manages to be quite efficient, so the average waiting time is about 90 seconds during rush hour and about two minutes outside of rush hour. So Similar. Our first stop on our Moscow tour is uh, Revolution Square Metro Look Station, at this. and it is famous Wait, because there's over seventy it? bronze I've... statues. Revolution Square Metro this Station. One. Yeah, I told you, it's like yeah. a living room. And it is famous because there are over seventy bronze statues decorating the entire bronze. station, and a lot of the statues are actually the same at all different. It's not nice that they are keeping it like that, and uh, if you what. You gonna put them somewhere else, a different country. You might end up with them like smashed or painted or probably. <laughs> well, I believe that <laughs> nobody's playing in Russia. <laughs> or at all the different platforms within the station, but there's over 70 in total. So you can see a lot of the statues have sort of worn out areas of them, and they say that if you see a statue in, in Russia that has. Um, sort of a shiny spot then you should rub it too and it will probably bring you good luck oh, so okay you, uh, good family good to good know luck, a lot of money. Uh, and if you yeah. see a statue that does not have any shiny bits on it then it means that it probably brings you bad luck so you should not touch it you should okay. definitely not rub it okay did you know that the next stop on our metro tour is Koms komsomolsky station which is generally considered the most beautiful okay the ceiling metro station in all of Moscow if not the world you can see there's eight stunning um like frescoes, vintage, eight stunning yeah. paintings like on vintage. the walls that depict a speech that Lenin gave in 1941 I think um you've got beautiful pillars everywhere you it honestly looks like a palace and they say yeah, it is. Named, mm -hmm. uh, the palace of the people and you can see why this is by it's far amazing, the most beautiful huh? metro stations I've ever been in my whole life I never seen something like that like in a metro station no, usually you're you're used to be like full of graffiti like, and yeah. uh, a lot of mess and lots of messages on the wall and like normal. The next stop on our tour is Kursky Station, and it's a really beautiful station, like many of the others. <laughs> kind of Jan plus. Yeah. And uh, equals love. <laughs> One of the main reasons we've stopped here is that 
that it was actually used as a bomb shelter during World War II. So many of the subway stations, because they were so safe and so far down, um, were used as bomb shelters. And this one was actually used as a library. So some had beds in them, some were used for food distribution. And this one in particular was a library. So they had desks, they had chairs. People could come down here at night time and get some work done. Whereas in the daytime, it would just resume service as a normal metro station. Okay. Even the thingy from Metro, they are quite mm. clean. This is beautiful. You can find them in Our uh, next metro station churches, is usually. Novo, churches, yeah. Novo Sodlodsky. Oh, I'm probably pronouncing that all wrong. It was very famous for its, what, I guess, what looks like stained glass windows from a church, but it's mm. actually yeah. like one painting with light behind it. Um, you can see the red star in a lot of them, the symbol of the Soviet Union. You can see one of them actually has a self-portrait that the artist put in. <laughs> and this painting is made to symbolize um, Russia during times of peace. Wait, one of the final one. stops on our metro tour is Belaruski station. Um, this station was built to celebrate the culture of Belarus, which is one of the founding members of the Soviet Union. See, a lot in of each on the train station, uh, it's different. Have you noticed? Yeah. Like the. This is so what she said. So that means it's everywhere in Russia like that in the metro this station. This is what she said from the beginning. They are different. Uh, they are different. Like stations and. Uh, Every single station is different. Depict farming scenes, people giving each other flowers, um, soldiers coming home from war. The next metro station on our tour is Mayakovsky Station. It is actually named after the poet of the same name. And even though it looks really beautiful, really clean, really modern, it's actually from, I think he said, 19... They are old, but they are still looking like very shiny. One of the oldest stations, anyway. Um, but the poet was way ahead of his time, and so they designed a really modern station. So out of all the Moscow metro stations, they say this one is actually the loudest. So I have about 30 seconds to record this before the next train comes. And you can't <laughs> yeah, this love. Um, so this is one of the bad things when uh, everything moves quick around you. You don't have time to make videos. But if you are in, uh, I don't know, a different country where you have to wait half an hour for the next train. You have plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, you have loads of time. The acoustics are so good in this station. Sometimes they have... Um, it's coming. Here comes another train. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because the acoustics are so good, sometimes they have entire orchestras that come down here and they set up seats and stuff. And Just they imagine how, right how it sounds. The the metro imagine an, an entire orchestra to be downstairs in, uh, in Down the metro. There, yeah. yeah, and sing play is gonna be I just finished up with the really cool uh, M Moscow Metro tour. I would highly recommend it. I got to see so many of the most beautiful stations here in Moscow. Hard to believe some of them were actually metro stations. Yeah. Guys, we've yeah. come to this really cool cafe here in Moscow. Um, it's kind of like a themed restaurant. There's like a prison section and a housewife <laughs> section and a doctor section. Oh yeah, so look, the like doctor se hospital. section is there. So we've got given like doctor's lab coats. Um, oh, also no this, way. Um, decoration. So you're gonna Whoa. inject yourself. <laughs> A With shot, alcohol. <laughs> a shot of... Uh... <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, something fun, a novelty, something different so to do in Moscow. So this place is called Kusochki and uh, it's a very special one. They have different territories where you get really immersed into the atmosphere. In this case we are in a hospital, so we have all the attributes. All the... Get dressed in a special <laughs> clothes. Yeah, and uh, we have a prison. Uh, and also a home where you have housewives serving you. Oh! Yeah. Let's go. Uh -huh. Guys, look at the beer. It so comes cool. in like a jar. And you have to open it. That's a beer. Strange. Yeah, it is in a jar. Oh uh, like no. Is Those it a are skull? Shots. Oh, it's a skull. Good. And you have to uh, finish it yourself. Okay, so I got these little syringes. <laughs> like uh, Ikea <laughs> you have everything in the thing you have to put and them you have together to, to build it huh? yeah. <laughs> wow 
That's basically a cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to put yeah. everything in. <laughs> what is that? She's a big man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at her, how she's dressed. This is so funny. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, starters? Yeah. Spasiva. Spasiva. Starters, see? Yeah. I've told you. Like salami and. What's ham. inside there? Uh, that's just. That's oh, it? Finish? Oh, Janet. So, this is my trip to Moscow, Trans-Siberian Vlog 1, which ended very quickly and uh, I mm. thought it's gonna be longer. Yes, Janet. Uh, <laughs> impressive Metrolink. I... Really beautiful and unique. It is. All the lights as well. During the summer, usually it's during the, the Christmas time when uh, everything is light up like this one. Yeah, but apparently it's... Always like I this. want to check how the Christmas lights are in, uh, in this area in Moscow. In this area, like, imagine it's already <laughs> full in, of lights. If in July it's like that, mm. plus they're gonna add the Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, the, the the metro station they are looking like something taken out from. Uh, castle like a living room with statues and everything uh, vintage what surprised me that they they been able to keep it like that clean fresh for so many years no? yeah good for them yeah thank Definitely. you very much for uh, the video, video janet and uh and vladimir. vladimir thank you for your uh, recommendation Hope we enjoyed it. you enjoyed it with us because we enjoyed it and we're gonna carry on with the vlog too and check the other links as well that you sent uh, don't forget if you're new subscribe, subscribe like hit the notification <laughs> bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos stay safe take care and gonna see you in the next one see you in the next one bye, bye.